Right, just parked up. Uh, we're clearing here, a little parking area, if I don't get a ticket. And we're going to walk down and look for what should be public right of way uh, towards the Frodham Caves. Uh, bit of a fast country lane here, so I have to keep my eyes out for the uh, the boy racers. Oh. But no rain, no sunrise. Well, reasonably quite pleasant. No wind at the moment, which is always good. You don't want, don't want a lot of wind. So I believe there's a public right of way here somewhere. I think I might have spotted it. So, yep, that's definitely a public right of way. So we're gonna creep through here and open our gates. There we go. There we go. Beautiful little path. Not too difficult. I've no idea what I'm going to uh, find here. I've seen a couple of pictures on the internet. But as they're here, we'll come and have a little uh, have a little look see and see how interesting they are for a composition. And it's always another another speck to mark down, another speck to revisit at different times throughout the year. So spring it will be different, summer it will be different. If we ever get some snow it will be different. But uh, yeah. So I think there's going to be the possibility of finding some compositions here. So we'll have a little wander. Up there, there hill lad, up that, 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 that hill there. Climb up this hill. Hey, photography's all about being fit, isn't it? Walking miles in the hope of a composition. The exercise is good. And of course, getting out and seeing different things. If it hadn't been for photography, there's so many places I wouldn't have gone to. So we're at the caves. Really quite, uh, quite interesting. Amazing really, to be honest. But uh, having had a mooch around and been inside, hopefully the camera will pick up the light. Uh, get it to expose for the dark maybe a little bit uh, you can see the sandstone has been shaped over years and years of I guess at some point running water to have made these uh, these pillars so all in all very interesting place indeed spend some time which I'm going to do because I don't have a lightning crew a lighting crew with me but what I did come across was these obvious windows uh, it's blown out but if we change our settings we can see that they make for an interesting photograph using them as the uh, the windows on the outside if you like so I'm set up with the first shot composition which I'll bracket uh, two, stops, two stops either side. And uh, it's quite an interesting view beyond the, the bushes just below the entrance to the cave. You've got the, the somewhat of a valley there created by the, the fields. And there's uh, somewhat of a leading line in the V of that valley going up to the farmhouse. So that's gonna be my first composition. As I say, I'm going to bracket that two, two stops either side. So we'll give that a go and see what we get. So I've come outside now. Uh, I've got a couple of shots on the inside. I'll put those up if they if they turn out reasonably well. I've got to be a little bit careful here because it's quite a slippy track back down to the walkway. 
So what I'm coming for now is to see if I can find an interesting composition out here. Um, I want something in the foreground that's a little bit more interesting, but I like the lines in the rocks and the the way the lines are going in different directions. I think that makes quite an interesting shot. But uh, plenty of time. The light's not going to change. It's going to be grey all day. So we'll just have a wander around and see what we can find. That's quite an interesting shape there. So I'm going to set up here and have a look and see if I can get a composition here and then uh, we'll have a look at that in the next few minutes. Sorry I've got to keep putting you down but I'm sort of on a hillside, everything slants away from me and I've, uh, I've nowhere to put anything out to, to balance everything precariously. So what I like about the, the rocks is the layers, the, li the lines created by all these layers of this sandstone settling over thousands of years. And uh, I'm just looking for an interesting composition. So I've just climbed a little bit higher now up, uh, up on top of the hill that overlooks the small caves. Got a little bit of interest in regards to this bush just slightly to the left and in front of my camera. I'm using that as a little bit of foreground interest. Um, and then obviously you've got the pictures of the cave and uh, all the different rocks and the lines and the shapes and contrast. Um, but a shot worth taking. We go down this second path, quite narrow, but enough room for me. Quite an easy walk. And then we've come all the way around to the other side of the caves now, so we've done the full circle. And there's nothing that's striking my attention. There's one old tree there, I'm just wondering. With some light on it, it would make a nice picture. So, that little, right in the centre there, that little old tree hanging on. Symmetrical in as much as there's a centre, centre of the column and then two columns either side, which uh, Symmetry, I suppose. Not today. So, there you have it. That's uh, Frodham Caves. I'd say it's worth a visit if you're interested in caves and sandstone. I think uh, the beginning of autumn would be good because a lot of the a lot of the bushes would have a lot more colour in them. And of course you want the sunlight, if you could get some sunshine on there, particularly if it could be fed into the caves and, and light up the back, the back of the caves, that would be absolutely awesome. But there you go, Frodham Caves. Let's have a wander down, back the way we came. I'm on 10% battery.